Hi, I'm Dr. Tom McClellan. I want to show you an example today of removal of the fingernail. Sometimes we have to remove the fingernail for a variety of reasons, such as a, a broken bone or a laceration to the nail bed, or in this case that I'm going to show you, a, a tumor of the distal fingertip. The key is, is how do we take the nail off properly? How do we free up the perinechium? Where do we start and how do we approach it? How do we do it as painlessly as possible? And then what do we do with the nail afterward? Or if we don't have the nail, if it's been torn away in trauma, how can we splint the epinechium so that the nail grows back uh, properly? Uh, in the video, you'll see how I approach taking off the nail and how I make a splint afterward out of a suture foil. If you have any questions, please feel free to call or email my office as always, and thanks for watching. The finger has been anesthetized and a Penrose drain is utilized for a tourniquet. Using iris scissors, I enter under the hyponychium and I stay just up under the nail plate. And you can see the tips of my scissors and I gently work my way back toward the epinechium and toward the germinal matrix of the nail. And just by gently spreading, I work my way toward the sides of the nail or the perinechium and you can see my nails sliding up under the epinechium. And I just slowly spread in either direction. And here I just do a little push on the perinechium on either side to free up the nail. Once I've freed it up, I grab a hemostat and I get a grip all the way up to the cuticle and I gently, in a slow pull, pull the remainder of the nail off. And that's just the adhesions over at the germinal matrix to the skin. Now, if you don't have the nail, you can use a plain gut suture foil or suture packet and you can trim the suture packet into a new nail. This is really useful in uh, traumatic loss of the parts of the fingertip or a traumatic loss of the nail where you don't have a nail. It's great to have a splint that can go under the epinechium uh, where the germinal matrix lies and it serves as a splint in order to help the nail plate grow back out unobstructed. So it's important to splint the nail. In this suture foil, you trim it to fit and then you can gently slide it up under the epinechium. And I generally secure it with a plain gut suture that will last a few days. And this will just stabilize the splint. And I just use one, one suture through the tip of the nail. And that'll just hold that splint dressing in place while the finger heals. And the, the one stitch will allow bleeding or, or blood to escape along the sides as to not create a damage to the nail bed itself.